do I think, do you think I'd look good in a lab coat? Uh, no. I think I may have worn a lab coat once in my life. And that was for like a fancy dress party, when, uh, like a fancy dress competition when I was a kid. Hello, Prometheus Spark. Okay. I have an absolutely insane crazy idea. I'm just going to go and look over this way first. Two, well, there's, there's my insane crazy idea, and then there's also one of the place I have not looked. However, I don't think I need to think about my crazy insane idea, because I think I may have just found what I'm looking for. Somewhere I was going to look was around the star puzzle. Okay, let's try and gauge. Success. All right, we are all done with West One. It's got to find a star now. Tell me you you want to hear my super crazy idea of where I thought it might have been? In times of war. Is it wisdom or folly to give a sword to a child? So I wondered whether or not this built on the first star that we uncovered. Uh, and what I was going to try and do was jump on the track to run across the water and see. I, I, I might do that anyway. I'm just going to explore. Just humor me for a minute. I've said it out loud. Gotta try it. The other place I was going to go and have a look at because I don't believe I had been there yet was the um, behind the, the Golden Gate. We saved it. We saved it. Okay. That's fine. Would have been a pretty cool secret out there, though. You a tree? I'm a human. The trees are good. All right, what we got left? We've got about just under an hour, which should um, give us a good starting point on West 2. The next area you're going to is, honestly, it's better if you see for yourself. 
upside down on the moon? Tell me, tell me. Go into one of the coolest areas. Okay. I'm intrigued. Put my feet up on my pins. Oh, this area. I saw this from screenshots. I did kind of wonder when we'd get to this bit. Hey, who'd have thunk it? Our objective here is to solve puzzles. We need eight of them to open the tower. Who'd have known? Hello there, Byron. What can I do for you? I don't know if I got through to Athena. Things are going very wrong in this city and she has to do something about it. Does she? Who else are they going to listen to? Well, I don't know. How about you? I I'm an explorer, Cornelius, not a leader. I don't know how to convince anyone. So? Do you think Athena and I are somehow different? We're just people, Byron. We're no wiser than you are. Just a little older. Ah, this area looks so cool. made me feel like I was falling down and found like a secret hole or something. Oh, it's bizarre. If you're down, you might as well go down, right? Where the bomb? Alright. Let's follow the path this time. I said that before, of course, and we massively off it. I'm getting there. Go on a giant rock formation by the looks of it, so I don't think we can get inside. Again, cool place to hide something. Universal activation. Oh, okay. This thing. Hey. Pretty neat puzzle uh, mechanic. Yeah. Red or blue? I think it's a blue, right? Just out the range. Wait, what? Um, I 
Okay, so it's like the box when you... <laughs> it's like when you use the funnel. Don't understand how this is opening, though. How is this gate opening? Universal activation. Okay, so I'm guessing anything that's got that above it, potentially. Yeah, I think the key takeaway here is like we take, get them both in range, and then that projects the signal. sure about this mechanic right now, I'll be honest. We'll see. We'll give it some time. I just wanted to say that I appreciate the work all of you have been doing. I know I'm not a natural leader like Byron, but it means a lot to me that you've stuck with me. It's interesting that, like, Al is taking that, uh, that stance, given that we potentially uncovered the information that Dina wasn't happy that... Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know. That's not that. That wasn't a good train of thought. All right, they, actually, it was. Um, it's interesting that Al said that because it's almost like he doesn't want to seem like he's taking us for granted, like everybody took Dean for granted. That makes sense? I think again, though, it shows the, um, the perception, but almost like the the branding of like how people see other people, which was a lot of the problem with Athena. It seems everybody just saw her as the one, as the leader. And let's do as Athena says. But, you know, I guess if these people just actually sat down and talked once in a while, then well, it wouldn't be a problem. We're in the middle of a chain reaction. So, new takeaway. It does extend the range, okay. Interesting. Interesting, I can't. You can't piggyback off a laser. So now I think I do what I what I was originally doing here.
So teaching you like how to chain these together, which is interesting. just outside there. Yeah, um, we maybe could have done a better job of separating things out. I agree. Happy. He starts to remind me of Atlas, who bore the celestial spheres on his back. He seemed burdened, struggling with the weight of the world, given what we heard the founder say about the goal. Could it be that they're meant to send a message? They're taking on the theory of everything. Would, and that taking on the theory of everything also be a burden we may not be able to bear. I like the way this level seems to be like set up here. It feels like we're on a big quest like to go up the mountain. Seems like a big circle. Great message. I enjoyed that one. Spirit of Time was angry at Stratton of Stagiria. The old philosopher had asked questions that were forbidden. If man is no more than dust, it said to him, then I shall turn you back to dust, and my winds will disperse you to, to the far corners of the world. Thus you will be nothing, and your questions will, be, will trouble me no more. And so time did, and Stratton of Stagiria was nothing. Stratton's voice did not cease. The time was... Time was perplexed. All across its domain it searched for Strand, yet he was nowhere to be found. Only his books remained, and of these men made copies, and Stratton's voice grew louder. Now time was furious, but Stratton laughed and laughed and laughed. Dear Athena, Warren once asked me why we seem unable to perceive the, perceive the dam. I asked him what he meant, and he said that people cannot seem to really grasp the dam as an object. They can be moved by the sight of a mountain or a gorge, but the dam seems insignificant to them. Look at it, he told me. Just look at it and try to understand that people made that, but to really see it. It took me a while to fully understand what he meant. It takes conscious effort to open one's mind to the ec ecstatic beauty that is hidden in every human accomplishment further conscious effort to maintain this ability. If only we were capable of seeing this beauty by default, the world might be a very different place. But it seems the ancients had the same problem. Why am I writing this to you? You may not even be reading these messages. Because today is one of those days when it feels like I'm the only one who still sees that beauty. I tried talking about it to Linux, but while I... Linux... Um, but while I admire her principles, she isn't open to a more poetic experience. Or perhaps I just express myself awkwardly, I don't know. All I know is it's hard to see something so beautiful and not be able to share it. Respectfully, Mithku. Right, let's uh, send a little more, I guess. Puzzle numero trois. No mobility.
That's somewhere there. And go to the exit. Okay, interesting. I must admit, these truly are astonishing sights. But what on earth is any of it good for? Why not just let mountains be mountains? What is it good for? Okay. Hey, 1K, how are you? Uh, both? What do you think? They are pretty impressive. It would have taken our ancestors years to make these. Athena probably just made them in a day. Mm, I don't think she's that powerful. Um... I'm honest. You cute. I'm not sure she can just like snap her fingers and make these statues. Also, star puzzle here is going to be laser involved. There's a star puzzle. That needs a laser connector. And it needs a... Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. You are missing your receiver. I believe I read that, LB, so yes, I potentially missed that. Oh, wait a second. What if the connector's on top of the box? All right. There's one start. Let's go. There was another... I just want to just saw another receiver. Oh, okay. Honestly, I, I I may have just forgotten, but I don't believe I have read that one. So, yeah. where we came from. Seeing these rock formations in this area, it was the same in one of the southern areas with the, where we first had the... <laughs> it was the same in the southern areas where we first got the elevator mechanic. Um, I keep like seeing gaps in the rocks and thinking they're like hidden passages, but they're, they're not. I get disappointed. Oh, 
honestly thought I'd got over this like cold or whatever it is. I think me and my wife are playing like old tennis at the moment. So I think she caught it for me and I like caught it back off her, which is really weird, but you know. That goes down there. That's fine. It's a car. Each of vehicle expresses a stronger sense of aesthetics than most other artifacts of this type, suggesting that at some point in ancient history, vehicle design was approached with a different mentality. Yeah. You are not wrong. They're flying around in VTOLs for us. Man, this track just sent shivers down my spine. That was crazy. Conveyance. Okay, so we can lower that. That's fine. First things first. Let's get this open. But by that, okay. all well and good, but where is that red, yeah? Where is that red? That completely like negates, well, I suppose thinking actually back, it makes perfect sense. Thinking back to the first puzzle name, that it activates everything or whatever the first puzzle was called, can't quite remember. at universal activation so these things are not color dependent you can activate oh, okay so i now have a, a hunch about a certain star good 
solved, Boy K. That's interesting, but that would then mean we need to make some warning. I tried to remain silent on the development of our city to allow younger generations to find their own path, but I feel now I must intervene. We have reached a dangerous infliction point. This farcical really reactionary belief in the goal of limiting our growth will lead directly to the creation of a class society. Foundations already exist. Do you think the leaders of various pseudo-secret societies that lobby for influence as with the mayor are subject to the same power cuts as the rest of you? Do you think the mayor has to worry about how much power he uses? Society which has a, have essentially no resource may be egalitarian in some sense, but a society that produces insufficient resources, energy in my case, will inevitably evolve into a class society. History assures us of that. The true failure of our ancestors will not, was not their impact on the ecosystem, which was epiphenomenal, but their failure to overcome primitive forms of resource dis distribution, allowing their fate to be determined by the interest of isolated elite groups. We are not avoiding that mistake, but creating the conditions for its reputation, repetition. I assure you that no one is exempt from our power management and distribution plan. We're all in this together. Yes, I totally believe that. I've always respected your scholarship. <laughs> I will take this seriously and think about it. Some people have led to have to lead and others have to follow. That's only natural. And of course, there should be advantage to the leader to encourage the people. Um, not necessarily. I don't believe that. A good leader will put other people before himself. So I don't I don't agree there with Ovis's comments. I'm going to agree with the opening comments. Thank you, okay. It's encouraging to see that the value of freedom has not entirely forgotten in New Jerusalem. A society without resources is an unfree society, and only with freedom can civilization truly thrive. I don't need to use the jammer there now, do I? Okay. So yeah, I believe down there. Go down there quick. I want to just check it again. But yeah, there's no connector because we need to use one of those activators. But that's potentially going to be... I don't think it's as simple as that. We'll see. We will see. All right, so let's head up to puzzle number five. Built area is kind of like flying by at the minute. It's, I think it's because like the almost linear design of it. Not really a lot of like deviation from the paths in this one. Oh, 
that was creepy as you walked around the corner. Jeez. Forky face. Two to three. Two to three. So, 258, right? So I did that, but we can't get into there. We play this smart, right? Right in here. Well, we don't necessarily need a red, do we? We just need to use this as a connector of sorts. So, it does need to be blue. Okay, it does need to be blue. Is there a spot here? Like there. Close. Neat. It's almost a shame it didn't have the right like space and do all four of them, but no, that's pretty neat. I like that. Can I touch the bridge device? You can, no. but should you? Ah, uh, okay. I think that was a no. So 
at Melville. Hi. I don't want to go in here. I kind of feel like that hand is going to come down and crush me. Collins. <laughs> they just don't get the fact that it's my job to solve the puzzles. Sahidan two. So than connecting to the connector. We actually want to... Let's go up there ourselves first. Actually, that's pretty cool. But it would be really cool if I could get it in the right position. If instead, then that goes there, that one goes like that. Oh, okay. Right.
think I needed to pick up the box I come up on first. and Athena created something amazing. They just misunderstood what it was. They thought their great invention was the megastructure. But in fact, it was Miranda. And because they couldn't see that, they lost her. Didn't protect her enough, potentially. I'm sorry, I know Mayor Hibis's word hard and helped pull the city out of a period of crisis, but this isn't the future we deserve. None of us. We all deserve better. Yeah, we should have listened to Byron. I always told myself all those public debates were boring. Who wants to get involved in city affairs? And lately, I've been thinking, yeah, that's why there's so much stuff in stuff I'm unhappy about, because we all collectively gave up trying. True, you know. There was a an old um an old statement that comes to mind. Um way back when there used to be on the, an advert on telling it said if you don't do politics you don't do a lot sort of thing so you know you've always got to kind of keep involved in current affairs in some way shape or form maybe things can finally change you have no idea how badly i need something new to happen we have the potential to imagine a better world and if we can imagine it then we can make it happen you're all delusional nothing will ever get better you're only saying that because you've never known a world where things get better you think the tiny sil sliver of history you've experienced is all there is, because that's all Mayor Herman has ever allowed you to see. But there is so much more. This is not the, pers the place for personal attacks on the Mayor. Thread closed. the door. Oh wow, this one goes quite the way underground, doesn't it? But then I guess we are quite high up, aren't we? Right, let's quickly comb the area. Server rack. servers going beep boop beep bop working tirelessly to process all my hexadecimal translations oh, that was uh there's nothing that way all right so we gotta go up the only way is up oh it's another one of those terminals and this place is a maze! So watching this, like, create formations of rock makes me think does the island even exist or is it all an illusion? Is it Simulation Mark II? Uh, trials, not synthesis, but creation. Cornelius would be so excited. Confirm underlying patterns. I'll give the recite shut down. Not too much to go on there. You asked me about a persistent strain of misanthropy in human culture. 
It's a complicated topic that has come up multiple times in my research. Here's the best attempt at a short, at a short cohesive answer. I think our ancestors, like ourselves, were deeply invested in the idea of building and transforming their environment. They found meaning and pleasure in this and did not perceive it in as negative, so long as they had sense of particular of participating in this act. I think the reason that they so frequently reached for a romantic return to the past, to fantasies of living self-sufficiently in rural environments, is not because they rejected industrial scale activity per se, but because the return to land provided a fantasy of returning to a form of participation that had been lost. They needed and wanted to build, create and produce, but only if they felt they had a stake in what they were producing. Without that, the products of civilization began to seem like an alien force gradually spreading out across the world and ruining it. Ruining it. They needed a dream, and if the future was barred to them, by necessity, they must dream of the past. I hope you and Cornelius are well. Will you be coming to Hypatia's new exhibition? I know you have so much on your mind, but you are missing out on a lot of exciting new cultural developments. Who could have thought in those early days that one day there would be so many of us that the arts would start to flourish again? I went back and found this message after all these years because something about it had lodged in my mind. I wasn't ready to understand it back then because I needed to be on be a leader. But maybe that was a problem or should have been our dream, not mine alone. Mm. For a billion years, Atlas had borne the weight of the world on his back. The old titan was tired of responsibility and tired of his labour of ages not being appreciated. Why did the mortals not understand that his work was the foundation of all they did? Finally, he had enough. With one swift move, he shrugged off the cosmos. Now they'd see. The cosmos went on rolling through infinite, in, infinitely, leaving Atlas behind. The mortals went about their business, hardly noticing his absence. He was astonished. He had the work had the world never needed him in the first place had all this toil been for nothing so he turned his back on all mortal matters and instead set himself to discover the secrets of eternity only after many long years had passed caught the, the cosmos in its endless cycles passed by through his domain once more and once it did atlas and the mortals realized that they had missed each other and each was lesser without the other so atlas no longer carried the cosmos instead he embraced it Powerful stuff. Okay. Another one of those devices. Final version of the Somnodrome. Funny, I suppose, for the longest time I wondered whether that old human self-hatred we somehow carried with us was Milton. I thought he might have corrupted us, overwhelmed us with his cynicism, but I was being unfair. Whatever it is, it's not Milton, it's us. Still, this excursion into solipsism solipsism hasn't been entirely for nothing. Smomnodrome technology provides an excellent basis for a better way of directly interfacing with the Noema project. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Do I miss much because of that LB? I like the fact that like, there's a, the different paths you can take in the game. Um, however, with it being such a big game, it's really hard for like people to uh, it's not not because it's a bad game, so don't take this the wrong way, but it's really hard for people to find the motivation to play like a 20, 30, 40 hour game again, just to find like extra choices of dialogue. So something that's decided like right at the beginning of the game like that is um, pretty harsh. Okay. Ascent. Okay, well. I think that's a good time as any to wrap it up. We've made good progress in uh, West 2. I think we've only got um, 
three more puzzles left to go, I think. Uh, maybe four. Four? Three? Uh, two, three, four. We've got four puzzles left to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, the original Talos did, but I didn't feel like... Um, no, I suppose in the original Talos, you did have to go back and play through the entire game again, didn't you? I mean, I suppose if you're interested in those choices and those choices alone, then you can just literally, like, knock out the puzzles. It's like, bang, 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 bang. Like, just try and speed run through the game. Um, but, yeah. No, maybe. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. So we will return on Wednesday evening once again, where we will wrap up W2, head to double W3, and then make our final progression to visiting the mega structure for the final time, or at least I assume it's for the final time. Um, we may, depending on how long things take, we may next week get the story side of it done. And then the week after that, we can probably crack on with the star puzzles once we've uh, unlocked them all. But um, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining, joining, joining me. I appreciate it as always. And until next time, I've been off. Keep me awesome. Have a great weekend. And until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.